Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Virgo. Let's begin. Anybody sending any negative energy in this reading, may it be returned to sender a thousand fold. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages. Straight from the divine, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me. Guide me and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So you guys had two cards pop out. Let's see what those are. Okay, you have here victory and success. So whatever these cards are that flip, you will succeed. You have victory and success. You are going to triumph. This is also giving me like judgment energy, final decision energy. Okay, with that trump, with the trumpet being blown, I cannot make it up. You will triumph and you will succeed. <laughs> you have success that's coming in. Okay, this is success in many areas of your life. You have double success here, Virgo. So congratulations. You have to stand your ground at this time. Okay, they're saying stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you know is right. Stand up for what you want. Okay, this is also you knowing your morals, values, beliefs, and things that, you know, you, you want to stand on and for. Things that shape you. Things that make you you. The number six could be significant. The number one, the number seven. June, January, or seven. Okay, July. Anybody could be born on these dates or these dates could be of significance to you as well. But let's continue on. What else does Virgo need to know, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay, you have your grounded energy. So you could be traveling at this time. You could be going on vacation, going on a yacht, going on a boat, going on a cruise. Okay, or this is you just being in a more grounded, still energy. You are earth energy. So you're centering yourself at this time. You could even be going inward, just disconnecting, protecting your energy, protecting your peace. I definitely see it's important for you to reflect at this time because either you could be on a karmic path at this time or you could be moving away from a karmic path. Okay, some type of karmic journey that you were on, I'm seeing here, that you could be moving away from. Yeah, and it could have been very turbulent as well, stormy waters. A lot of things could have been happening out of the norm confirmation. A lot of things could have been happening and you could have been like, well, why is this happening? Why is it always something with family? Why is it always something with work? Why is it always something with home life? Why is it always something with bills or this or that why is it always a discrepancy why is different things keep happening and it's because god was trying to get your attention god is trying to get your attention to let you know the path that you were on was karmic it was meant to teach you lessons and it's now time to choose a brand new direction that's actually aligned with you and where you're headed and what you want to manifest within your life this is beautiful energy coming in 222 is here as well okay you could be seeing that angel number that's all about balance and duality Okay, the number 21 is here, the number 12, December, the number 22, the number 4, April. Somebody has been working out of their shadow self, either you or someone that you were with on a karmic path, a karmic journey. This is in someone that was very egotistical, prideful, and you can't be rocking with God or surrendering to God's plan, your destiny, if you are working out of ego and pride. It's either one, one or the other, but... It's something about ego and pride that's here. Yeah, this could have been someone that wanted you to trust in them. Okay, yeah, you have someone here that has been cloaking their energy, Virgo, and they could have even been trying to get, like, somebody here has been, like, using divination to try to get information on you. The number 38 is here, 83 is here. They realize that you're very courageous. This could be another Virgo. Or this could be someone that's trying to cloak themselves in your energy. What's this veiled about? Whoever this is, I feel like this is someone that you're on this karmic path with. Okay. It could be, it could have been a, a yeah, jealousy. Look at this. Whoever this is is throwing jealousy at you. Or envy, evil eye, dark energy. 
it's because they're jealous okay or envious the number 23 may is here taurus energy 30 32 is here as well as 23 breaking down to a five this has been happening since a past life and it's time to complete this whole term in this lifetime okay you could even intuitively know this you could be very psychic very gifted very in tune you could be receiving certain dreams or downloads or information yeah you have a key that's coming towards you or it's just time that you tap into your power okay there's lucky energy talisman okay crystals could be significant at this time as well but this is like you coming into like getting a lucky charm okay a good luck charm i'm seeing here this is also something being unlocked for you a key you getting a new key a new property a new home a new car something new is coming in okay that somebody could have been trying to block for you and it has to do with you tapping into your inner power yeah you gained knowledge at this time so now it's time to use the knowledge that you have recruited and move forward with wisdom into this new life okay this is also akashic records energy okay you're coming into union with a masculine or coming into union with a feminine you're divine masculine or divine feminine but there is someone that doesn't want this or doesn't like this you also have transformation that's here butterflies could be significant as well or you are transforming the number 91 19 and the number four is here the number 34 breaking down to a seven 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 is here as well what else does virgo need to know if i cut the deck gemini energy gemini could be significant to you you could have gemini in your birth chart Okay, yeah, Virgo, you're beginning to realize who you are. Okay, so you're stepping into your purpose, you're stepping into your calling, you're stepping into your mission. You're taking the necessary steps to move forward because you could have been in some type of illusion with the moon card or you were viewing reality from a warped eye view and you needed to listen and trust in your intuition to see the truth about what was happening around you, the moon. Somebody here was trying to block your intuition, block your dreams, block your messages. They wanted you to be in an illusion, in spiritual darkness, in spiritual warfare. It could have been a cancer, okay, with acceptance energy being here as well. What's also being hidden is acceptance will be coming towards you, like being able to move forward, accept things for what it is, surrender to God's will and move forward. Yeah, this is going to help you heal, okay? Gemini energy is most definitely here as well. We're going to figure out what's going on with this Gemini. We have here, don't focus on monetary. So right now, don't focus on money. Focus on getting right with spirit, getting right with God and letting God direct you to where you're supposed to go. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. This is a lot of peace and harmony. Okay, tranquility energy, calming energy, going with the flow. Okay, doing things in moderation as well. Okay, you could be reflecting over different things or just enjoying each moment of your life. This is also you not rushing. Okay, just taking your time, making yourself a priority as well. You're very intelligent. Astrology could be significant. Numerology, mathematics, astronomy, any of these could be significant to you at this time as well. You could be studying or in school or you could be a teacher. What's going on with this Gemini? The Wheel of Fortune. So this is someone that was you were meant to cross paths with. It's a test. This could be someone that has Scorpio. Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo in their birth chart as well. Heavy Scorpio is here with the tower. Okay, so tell me more. because It's something about how this is going to be coming in out of nowhere. And this is to shake up some type of fake and faulty foundation. What's this Wheel of Fortune about the Emperor? So you're about to meet the Emperor. And for someone here, this could be a Gemini. Okay, it's divine timing for you to come in contact with this person. Fear could be making you question it. Or this could be a feminine for the masculines. You're getting ready to meet your divine feminine, and this is going to help you build a solid foundation with that number four, something that you have been wanting. There's definitely an ending with this number 10. Something is over. There's been a completion that's here, okay? You had to let something go so that you can have this leap of faith or that you can take this leap of faith or so that your path could be clear. You had to sacrifice or let something go to be able to get this or take this, but you always have a choice. So at this time, Taurus also just showed itself. You have a choice. It's something about how you're going to have to let something go that just doesn't, can't go where you're headed. Okay. Or you could stay where you're at at this time if you are content, 
but just know there won't be any positive changes there. Or you can 10, 10 could be significant as well. Or you can choose better with the zero. Choose what God wants for you and start something fresh, a clean slate energy, which is going to lead you to a divine counterpart, someone who's aligned with you. But again, it's a choice, okay, to have real love or to have true love, the ace of cups in your life. It's a choice, okay? You don't have to choose it. You don't have to choose someone new or to go towards something new, but this is what God is bringing towards you. It's an energy of acceptance, okay? It's also time to rest and rejuvenate. So you have different opportunities that are getting ready to be presented for you, okay? And spirit is like, well, which one are you going to go towards or what do you want? Okay, literally, they want you to take the necessary action steps at this time also to focus on self-love and self-care. Okay, you could be buying yourself roses, getting roses. They want you to get more rest. Okay, someone in your energy is insecure. This could be why somebody doesn't want you to leave them or they could be trying to guilt trip you. Okay, yeah, what is they admire you? Okay, sounds about right. So this could be someone that could be acting like they admire you or they're proud of you. We know who this is. This is their biggest mistake playing in your face, okay, or trying to do this. Yeah, because this person has been lying to you, okay, and they're doing it for clout, for social media. They're doing it to gain intention. You also have to pull some strings to make it happen. So you could be needing to pull some strings or spirit is pulling strings to make things fall into place for you. But at this time, they want you to do something for yourself, by yourself, okay, do something alone. Be an individual and do something alone. You're about to be a very affluent person I'm seeing here. And again, you carry some type of light in a dark place. You were in a dark place or you could be going through a dark night of the soul or it could have just been, been feeling like darkness around you, okay? And what was lighting the way, what was keeping you moving forward is God's light within you, Virgo. Literally, they like you, okay? So somebody here is going to come towards you. It could be that new energy that likes you. This is going to bring in a major life change. Okay, literally, you have a strong connection to spirit. There is a strong connection to spirit here. Your crown chakra is being activated. And you could be getting messages from your crown chakra, your head, okay, receiving those divine downloads, and it's telling you to walk away. Have the courage to walk away and choose better. The money here is not about to tell you the truth. They're not about to be honest with you. They have a blocked throat chakra, okay? They could be having a hard time speaking up, being honest. They're just not ready. They just don't want to do it. Okay, somebody here is also taking their time. This is a liar. Okay, and spirit is saying, please think twice about if this person, you thinking this person is going to change or be honest or come towards you. That's why spirit is moving you along your path, okay? And wanting you to protect yourself, protect your peace, to protect your assets, protect things that you are working on and towards at this time. Okay, you're, you're being guided towards someone that you can trust. Let's jump to the tarot. What does Virgo need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What does Virgo need to know? Somebody is in regret or they could have been wanting you to feel sad. Okay. Somebody here also could have been wanting to play the victim. That's the truth. Somebody could have been wanting to play the victim in your energy or they could have been trying to guilt trip you or make you feel like you have to stay or you can't choose better. And Spirit is saying that's not the case. Father God is vindicating you at this time and is letting you speak the truth. It's bringing you clarity. It's bringing you wisdom. It's bringing you strength to speak out and also to stand in the light with God. Okay. There could have been some type of clarity that came about about a marriage. There could have been some type of truth that could have came about about a Taurus. This is also God giving you divine truth coming straight from the hand of God with the Ace of Swords. For the Ace of Swords to be the first card, this is very good energy. That lets me know not only are you speaking the truth, but you're in your authentic energy at this time, or you're real, you're honest, okay? You are you're you could be someone that people come towards for advice or for insight. You could also be going to church or could be, you know, diving into your spiritual beliefs, divination, or your religious beliefs to try to gain wisdom as well. And God is providing you the insight and knowledge that you need. It takes inner strength and courage and willpower, okay, to be able to overcome. And you will with the strength card. This is also self-discipline and self-control. And somebody has never seen this side of you before. The Ten of Cups. They see that you are also like really about your business in regards to having a happy home. Like you want your children to be happy or you want to have like children. You want to raise them in a very loving environment or family unit, a very harmonious and blissful family unit or foundation. 
You could also be coming into union with people of your spiritual family, okay, with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords and the Strength card being here. You could be meeting people that are, are from different areas than you. You could live in like a tall building or you could live in a city area. This could also be a rural area or a suburban area or vice versa, okay? You're living, you may live in a house or a big house or a home, okay, or a complex. And it's like you're meeting someone that may live like, you know, in a different area, okay? <laughs> a different city or, you know, very different. Two walks of life are coming together, but it's being brought in because of God's you guys are aligning. God is bringing you two together or bringing you towards people that are aligned with you, okay, so that you can have this happy family, not only just with friends, but also in regards to the family unit that you are creating if you don't already have this. And someone here is seeing a side that they've never seen with the nine of wands. They're seeing you being inspired to take action to build or to create or just to work with different people, and it's just really intimidating to someone. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, you are building. This is two major blessings coming towards you. You could be connecting to a Taurus, and this could have been hidden with the Moon card until you stepped into your courage, your strength, your willpower, until you began to believe in yourself. It's like once you raise your vibration, now you're able to attract in what actually is for you, your blessings. And the Ace of Pentacles is a divine major blessing. You have three Aces that are out. Not only are you being vindicated or there's some type of clarity or truth that's coming towards you, wisdom that's coming in intellect that you could be, you know, like exuding at this time, but also this is new money that's coming in. This could be a promotion. This could be a raise. This is a new opportunity to make more money, a new investment, unexpected money that could be coming in, that could be hitting your pockets. Something new is getting ready to come towards you, is going to come in. Okay. And this also has to do with love. How you love yourself, okay, how you love others, how you love God, how you pour into yourself, and how you're letting God pour into you, and it's an overflow. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that there something had to end so that you can receive this wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups. What had to end? The death card. Something came to an end here. And now somebody is stressed out about it. Yeah, somebody is stressed, they're watching you, and they're in contemplation. They've been going back and forth. Either this person juggled you with the two of pentacles or they're at like a imbalance in their life at this time since something is officially over. You ended something, Virgo. Like something is done. Something is no more. It's no coming back for this. When the death card is out, that's done. That's, that's the door is closed. It's locked. It's like the key has been burned or melted down and or thrown in the ocean and ain't nowhere to find it. You're not opening up a door again. Okay, and somebody here, they're being haunted and all they could do is spy and watch and observe and go back and forth and contemplate. This is also someone that's making up stuff. Okay, this is someone, their head's in the clouds. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of clouds around this person. Somebody here also is like they're trying to gain insight or information to see past illusions or to stop like making up stuff in their head as well. But they're going back and forth about what's the truth and what's fictitious energy. Like, what what is you know, their own imagination. Someone here sees that you have evolved or you are leveled up or there's some type of awakening, okay, or blessing over your life that's coming in. Somebody here, they can see it and they can sense it with the star. You could be getting ready to hit some type of fame or fortune I'm seeing here with the star. This is also a renewal in your energy and your insight and how you wake up each day and view the world, how you view life. There's a renewal in your faith and your hope and your willpower to believe in God to continue moving forward. Yeah, somebody here, this is bad news for somebody. The Page of Pentacles, you not investing in somebody with the Seven of Pentacles or you letting something go is bad news. Somebody here has even been trying to do like, playing like spell work. This could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody here has bad investments, like they've lost money or whatever seeds that they planted is not growing at all with the Page of Pentacles. It's no type of new prosperous opportunities either for someone. And it could be because someone's no longer investing. You could be no longer investing. And now this person's in a place of hardship, the Five of Pentacles. So you pulling back your energy or you stepping into your power, okay, your confidence, your self-esteem, you raising up, you know, how you view yourself, your self-worth. Okay, literally, like, what am I hearing? Yesterday's price is not today's price. I think I may make this that your title. Yesterday's price is not today's price. 
Okay, literally. So somebody here, they they thought the way you acted yesterday, the way you acted before, it's a brand new day. You can wake up each day and have a brand new beginning or a new start within your life. It's whenever you choose to do things differently, you are shifting. Okay, little small shifts and changes is what bring up is what brings about that big monumental change that you want to see that growth energy. But somebody's in hardship or they're about to lose everything. This is also someone here that is realizing you're no longer investing because there could have been a lot of coldness and distance in a relationship, financial hardships, destitution, somebody was facing homelessness, job loss, feeling left out in the cold from their higher self, even from God away from their faith. Yeah, you now see the truth with the two of pentacles. Somebody here could have been also wanting you to feel very victimized. Okay, yeah, they're going to try to come in to talk to you with the page of with the page of cups but again somebody here they're hiding things because this person has their hand behind their back this person is also not letting you know how like emotional they are okay about how things have slowed down for them or with you or also in regards to like this person is trying to be like a, a delay a hold up so that they can keep you stuck the four of pentacles what's the page of cups so be mindful of communication that could be coming towards you. This is someone who is very vindictive. The King of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody here is emotionally closed off with the chariot in the reverse. This is someone who is very reckless. They're very careless. They lack forward movement. They're emotionally manipulative, closed off, emotionally unavailable. They have childhood wounds and issues. Somebody here, they like to gaslight. They like to, this is someone here that will try to make you fall in love with them to just try to crush you. Okay, somebody here also likes to have control over your emotions or they feel like if they give you the bare minimum, they'll be, you'll fall for them again. They could also like using their, you know, their body parts. Okay, if this is a masculine, he could like to use his body part to try to, you know, appease the situation. Man, somebody here is very sinister. And there's no love here. With the King of Cups, there's no love. This could have been someone that you had a family with or that you thought that you were gonna have the 10 of cups with, but it came to a complete end, something is over, okay? Or this could be someone here that wants to have a relationship with you. They see that you're meant to be in a very loving marriage, relationship, family unit, and they wanna have a new start so that you can lose complete forward movement, direction, success in your life. They wanna take whatever success you have, the ace of cups that's coming in. The Ace of Pentacles, you could have just gotten a new job. They want that to go disarray, haywire. Somebody here, their plan is to have a new start of causing chaos and destruction for you, okay? This is a karmic to you, okay? And whatever, just please know, you know, whatever this person's trying to do, whatever the devil tries to do for wickedness, God always turns to good. This is a karmic, the Queen of Cups and the Upright, to the King of Cups. This is not your person, Virgo, male or female. Somebody here is in distorted energy. They're abusive, they are karmic, they are manipulative, they're obsessive, they're emotionally immature, they're very like judgmental, they're cold, their heart is cold and it's of cold, it's it's black. This person's like they 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 don't have no type of empathy, no type of intuition, they're not trusting in it at all. They're going against anything that is good or anything that feels right. This is someone that wants to cause emotional turmoil and trauma because they're suffering internally with it. So spirit is saying, don't let this person change the way you love, okay, or how you love yourself or how you love others. Everything will work out for you and your highest good, but there is a breakup that's here. Or this could be very heartbreaking, this coming to an end or what this person has been trying to do, which has been causing drama. This person is actively trying to do this. This could be a fire sign, a water sign. It doesn't even have to be. This could just be someone that is emotionally manipulative. They're closed off. They could be very attractive, or they like a lot of attention. They don't like to hear no. They like to get their way with the king of wands. Somebody here likes to pursue or go after things that they feel like is for them or that ignites them. Somebody here could be like a visionary. They like to create, but this is also someone that likes to take charge of situations, could even be forceful. This king of wands is coming towards you. Okay, somebody here could even be actively pursuing a high priestess right now, like for knowledge or for insight in regards to what to do. Because somebody here sees that you're becoming single or independent or you're doing something by yourself. What's the five of wands? Drama in the home. Somebody here wants to create drama and discord for you. 
Okay, this could be someone that has children, a father figure, could be someone that you had children with, your child's father or your child's mother, or just someone that feels like they, they are in this place of, you know, being in charge. Spirit is saying move away from this person that's very egotistical or prideful or revengeful. Somebody here is very careless or reckless or they just, they don't, they're non-committal. The Knight of Wands, they just want to sleep around, have a good time, get attention or get some type of power or control. Someone here also felt like you weren't going to step into like believing in yourself. They felt like they were going to, yeah, forever be able to delay you. Delay celebrations in your, deli your life, delay harmony in your life, delay reunions in your life. Somebody here wanted to delay your success, but that's what's coming in nonetheless. The Six of Wands and this person's receiving, someone here is sending you a lot of hatred, hateful energy, low vibrational energy because they have nothing but delays and holdups in their life. Somebody here wants to delay. They want it. They're throwing you a lot of negative discord energy towards your wish fulfillment because they see that you're sitting up pretty or handsome or they see that you're about to get your way. And this is you receiving more than enough or making a very difficult decision, which could have taken a lot of strength to do. Literally, the strength card, you had to, something pulled a lot. It took a lot for you to be able to overcome, to be able to get through this because this is you tapping within self to gain the strength. This is also God giving you the strength that you need to close something out for good, completely end it so that you can reign. It's time for you to reign, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, this person is playing dirty. They will lie, say, do whatever, manipulate. They will try to step on other people's necks to get ahead. Somebody here is very, very vengeful, very, very manipulative, a very dark spirited individual. Okay, yeah, you have here, happy home is coming towards you, okay. You have a happy home that's coming in, what else for Virgo? Yeah, your spirit guides have stepped in. And that's why you are going through a spiritual awakening. I said that, you're embracing a spiritual awakening in your life. You're waking up to what God wants for you. You're also waking up to, to realness, to reality in different ways. And somebody is mad about this, that you're no more in their illusion. This drama started. I wanted you to just carry on with BS. BF, you are this divine feminine. Okay, or you're about to meet your divine feminine. I'm seeing here, or initials D or F could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. What else for Virgo? Somebody was doing love spells on you. Okay, you have here an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The letter M could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Yeah, there's a Scorpio. The letter G could be significant here. That's in your energy. Yeah, you have here. Somebody here is, is not protected. They don't have any angelic, spiritual, ancestral protection at all. And there's about to be a fall from grace that takes place for someone. Oh, shit. Yeah, you have your enemies and your, your ops. Your enemies and your ops, they about to be defeated and walking away, crying, sad, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, Virgo. Yeah, you about to get to the bag, okay? You have unexpected money, a promotion, or a raise that's coming in. You also have big player energy. Somebody here, whoever this big player is or was that was in your energy, yeah, you released this devil energy. You dropped it. I'm so proud of you, Virgo. My goodness. Oh, there's about to be a faded event that's about to take place where you're going to drop this devil energy. This is a very manipulative energy. Know that you are never, ever, ever alone. This was somebody that was in too much ego and pride, that emperor energy. And it was letting it, like, somebody here would have, they could be abusive, okay, or very just forceful and aggressive. The spiritual realm loves you and protects you. And that's why there was a faded event that's about to take place, or it is, okay? Yeah, so that you can focus on being solo, so that you can tap into your spiritual gifts. You are a divine high priest that follows and listens to God. I'm seeing here, you are an earth angel. Okay, and your ex could be realizing this, or your ex now knows this, or your ex doesn't want to be your ex anymore. <laughs> they thought that you were going to come back, or you were going to, you know, give in, I'm hearing. Yeah, Sagittarius could be significant. There's a Sagittarius that could, could have been paying or was playing for spell work to be done on you. Okay, and it did not work. Yeah, this is someone that wants you to unblock them. They're trying to reach out to you in the next one to two days so that they could steal money from you. Okay, this is someone that's late on bills. Okay, the letter W could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Okay, you're, you're about to see that the ex only wanted money. Your ex only cared about money. Yeah, dark high priest came out on the reverse. So you're beating some type of dark high priest that doesn't listen to God. Okay, somebody here could have did something on Tuesday and it did not work. Okay, or around the full moon. 
the letter I could be significant as well. Okay, yeah, expect communication in a few hours came out on the reverse. So somebody here could be trying to reach out to you today or in the next few days. Okay, but because clarity has came towards you, you may not be entertaining whatever this energy thinks that you're going to entertain. And it's drama. Somebody is falling from grace. Whoever this is is going to be trying to reach out to you because they, they don't have they, they, they don't have anything else like they feel like they could lose. So they want to take out, out. It's like I'm picking up on the energy that wants to take everybody down with them because they're going down. Oh, man. Let's get the advice. What's the advice for Virgo? I must jump first. I know the universe will catch me. Okay, you also have to, I release control of my plans to make way for my destiny, what God wants for you. Okay, and you also have here, my body allows me to thrive. And at the bottom, I envision my highest self and start showing up as her or as him. It's time. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next.